Hey guys, hope y'all had a good night's sleep. Feel good, man. Feels good out here. I think Debbie's still uh, bringing down some good, nice, drier air. It's going to be warm today, but I'm hoping the humidity won't be as bad. Thanks to uh, Debbie, you know, not too far away. It's in, uh, I'm assuming it's up close to Eddie. Uh, Eddie and Logan, you guys up in South North Carolina now. I think it's starting to you know, stall out, that kind of thing. So hopefully it won't rain too much. I think Eddie was telling me he's looking forward to a little bit of a break and catch up on some sleep. And I was actually thinking about that yesterday <clears throat> in terms of the storm headed up my way. Luckily it missed us, obviously. Yeah, it'd be nice. I mean, I'd rather it wait till like October, you know, to be honest with you, because I've always thought it's kind of cool when they come up here, just seeing, you know, the wind and the rain, all that kind of stuff, just kind of neat when they come up here. It's never really gotten that bad up here, but yeah, we will have, you know, some storms, especially if they're moving pretty fast, you know, head up this way and cause some problems. But yeah, y'all, hey, listen, uh, I want to talk about you know the financial situation going on in the world the stock markets i mean in trouble you know obviously the last few days of trading you know things haven't gone very well so you know i've i've got a, you know a good bit of money in the stock market and that kind of thing and uh just curious what you guys think what y'all are doing obviously i'm concerned about what's going on in the world unless you're just living under a rock uh very concerned about the financial markets the stock market in general now i've been uh <clears throat> kind of preparing for it in a way you haven't been very aggressive in terms of buying new stock or adding to positions that kind of thing i just kind of stayed steady over the last year or so just kind of kept what i have there and haven't added any new stock or bought any new stock in other companies uh, i've been fairly conservative in terms of investing you know i think i mentioned about putting money in the CD uh, recently, and I've been doing that over the last year, putting money in uh, high high rate, high interest rate, uh, low, uh, low, you know, short duration CDs, that kind of thing that have done well, you know, I feel like, you know, at least it's safe and you're making a good interest rate there. So that's a good, that's good. You're not having to worry about, you know, volatility that's coming with the stock market, y'all. So yeah, yeah, it's definitely concerning to me what's going on. I mean, you know, I try to keep up with, economic signals and uh, reports and uh, that kind of thing just to kind of get a gauge of the economy and it's not looking good y'all so yeah i'm i'm a realist i mean i want to be optimistic but don't have a whole lot of a, a whole lot of faith in the economy going forward unless we have a change in leadership for sure you know and even even then i'm not really sure y'all because i mean <clears throat> if you're watching the news you heard about Japan, their market, you know, crashed basically. And, you know, uh, they're talking about China having a lot of financial issues with their banking system, all that kind of thing, guys. So, yeah, I'm just worried about a starting to look like there may be a worldwide financial collapse, possibly. Hopefully not. Well, I mean, at least if that does occur, at least gas prices will be lower, that kind of thing, y'all. But, yeah, I guess we can only pray and just. Just hope that things turn out well, but uh, it's definitely concerning for sure, y'all. I guess uh, the good news, one point I want to make in terms of maintenance versus landscape and the projects that come with landscaping and whatnot, uh, the one good thing about maintenance, I think it's common sense. I think people are going to be more or less likely, way less likely, I should say, <clears throat> to let go of their lawn care provider in terms of maintenance uh, when uh, the economy is down, when it's bad. So, yeah, that's something that I consider, I think of. That's why I obviously heavily focus on maintenance and never really well i mainly focus on maintenance because i feel like it's easier uh <clears throat> that kind of thing it's easier on your body and it's just you know you got that consistent income coming in but i've also thought of it from the fact of like i just mentioned when the economy is down residential folks especially especially if they're older they're gonna be way way less likely to let go of me you know when it comes to mowing their grass you know that kind of thing. So, I mean, it's not, obviously, it's not a huge expense in a lot of cases for people. And uh, the last thing they want to do is quit having their grass cut on a regular basis and shrubs trim and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, uh, that's something to consider, guys, for you, for y'all that are fairly new uh, into the business, you know, uh, in terms of, you know, thinking when the economy's down, having a good base of maintenance customers. That way, when it does go down and you're always going to have 
you know, uh, a roller coaster in a lot of ways when it comes to the economy. You're going to have good times and bad times. You know, people are going to hold off on these big landscape projects, <clears throat> these $1,000 projects, whatever it may be, uh, just jobs that they don't necessarily need or things they don't necessarily need, they may want. But if the economy is bad and there's a lot of uncertainty, they're going to be more likely to hold off on these big landscape jobs <clears throat> just because they don't know. You know, they're just uncertain about the future and they want to, uh, you know, save that money up instead of spending it. So, yeah, that's yeah, something you got to consider. That's why I'm glad I primarily focus on maintenance, even though you're not going to have that big <clears throat> chunk of change come in like you do with landscape jobs in a lot of cases. At least I know that, you know, I'm pretty safe when the economy's down, that kind of thing. In terms of people, you know, people letting, letting me go in terms of mowing their grass. And I feel like, I just feel like, and like I said, I think it's common sense that people are more likely to forego a landscape project or a retaining wall or a fire pit, that kind of thing, when, when times are uncertain. So, yeah, y'all, you got to consider that. But anyway, hey, listen, y'all let me know what you think. I'm really curious, guys. What are y'all doing right now with your money? How are y'all feeling about the economy? I don't mean to be Debbie down or try to be optimistic, but I'm not feeling good about it. Uh, hopefully the right guy will get elected in the, into office. And I think that will help for sure. But I'm not even confident in that anymore. I mean, I know these polls can be bogus, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> if you're hearing what, <laughs> what I'm reading here and, and I try not to listen to the news very much, you know, it's not, it seems like it's a little bit closer than we would like, but who knows if that's true or not guys. I hope not. Anyway, hey, listen, y'all let me know what you think, guys. Curious what you're doing with your money. Uh, focus on maintenance versus landscape jobs. I think it's important to have a good bit of maintenance when times are uncertain like they are now. Uh, <clears throat> being two trucks today, guys, by the way. Yeah, so Justin being this truck by himself, me and Hunter being a spray truck. I got the the leak in my hydro or my power steering fix, guys, too, so I'm excited about that, or hopefully it'll stay that way. Uh, I know it's the other day when I looked at it, it was fine. But anyway, hey, listen, y'all, I'm going to get on the road. Hope you're having a great week. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I'm gonna give y'all a quick update on what's going on. Uh, obviously, made a point that I bought another FS91R uh, the weeks. So I got four of them now. Continue to be very impressed with it. It's just extremely balanced and handles really well compared to the older models, the older head. I think it does have something to do with the new head they got. Uh, that kind of thing, guys. So I really like the FS91R. So if you're looking, highly recommend it. You know, I really love it, uh, especially when it comes to flip edging. I feel like it's just very stable. So I really like it. So when I was blowing off over here, you know, all the leaves on the uh, driveway there, I was making sure to not, not to blow them off into the yard as much as I could. I was trying to blow them off into the woods over here in the corner. So yeah, make sure you're doing that. I mean, if you got a wooded area, that kind of thing, guys, and you're blowing off, try to, you can try to avoid just blowing them on the grass. You know, try to blow them in the woods, that kind of thing. Just get them out of sight, out of mind, that kind of thing just looks better. But yeah, y'all, hey, listen, so I'm by myself right now. Uh, Justin's on the road, he's solo. I've got him a manageable list of yards to do, just, you know, like 13, 14 yards. Uh, it's manageable for him. We just knocked out one together earlier, uh, bigger property, commercial property. And uh, obviously our buddy, uh, he didn't have a ride yesterday and he texted me at 1.30 last night, let me know he was sick already. Apparently he already determined that he was too sick to come this morning, so yeah. Yeah, y'all, uh, Hunter is going to meet me at lunch, even though he said that he was going to be able to work a full day, guys. Let me just bring this point up, especially you young guys. It seems like it's becoming an, an issue, and I'm not calling Hunter. I like Hunter a lot, but 
he told me he was going to be able to work today and he texted me this morning at 6 30. you know again i'd rather guys text me the night before to let me know what they got going on so he texted me this morning even though i thought he was going to be able to be able to work all day uh, that he had school stuff going on this that and the other and i was wondering if he could take the day off well i told him i was like well i texted him back i was like can you work half a day so yeah he said yeah okay half a day so yeah he's gonna meet me at lunch guys but hey listen i'm gonna make this point it's very important for me be a man of your word okay when you tell another man or woman that you're gonna be somewhere at a certain time do what you say and say what you do i mean really i mean that's something that i take pride in i try to do that 100 percent of the time if obviously i think we all fell at that on occasion but uh, the ma vast majority of the time, uh, I'm going to do what I say and say what I do, that kind of thing, guys. So, yeah, y'all make sure you're doing that, especially you young guys. It seems like it's getting to be more and more of a problem with younger people nowadays, you know, and it really puts me in a little bit of a bind. But I went ahead and planned for this. That's why we're doing two trucks today so we can, you know, increase our production for today uh, to help us out throughout the week. So, yeah, both of them claim, though, but I'll help all day the following, the next days, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But, yeah, we'll see how that goes, guys. But yeah, y'all, hey, listen, hope you're having a great day. Stop, uh, point those things out. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I just got done treating this yard here. Uh, I'm using my combination change up MSM uh, combination with this refactoring, obviously. Uh, so you see that section there? I just started treating this yard. This is actually my first treatment. Another co company was doing it before. I think there's some kind of fungus right there. And as you can see, it's uh, inundated with weeds now. That's called spurge, common spurge. Uh, what I have will knock that out. So yeah, we're probably going to have to end up sodding that little section there probably digging it up tilling it up adding some new fresh dirt i'm not sure really what's going on with it so yeah yeah but it'll kill all the weeds off maybe we'll get some some of the nice zoysia i can see the rest of the yard is fine yeah i just uh, did a quick treatment real quick mainly to knock out those weeds in that area and there's some uh some other weeds throughout the yard as well but overall the yard looks good it's just that one section so yeah i'm gonna probably have to till it up add some dirt and put some sod on top you know, sometime later this year or the next year in the spring. Have a good one. Hey guys, I'm <clears throat> doing a little more talking today. Figured I got some good points to make when it comes to certain things, situations. So yeah, this is that yard I started last week. It's right in the middle of my service area. So it's in a good location. I'm charging more than I normally would. It literally took me 25, 30 minutes. Done, uh, 75 bucks by myself. So yeah, that's good. Uh, 75, $75 in 30 minutes. That's pretty good solo, that kind of thing. So yeah, it's a profitable yard for me. Uh, typically, like I said before, I'm really not looking to take on yards right now. I'm just trying to get through the season, but this is a perfect example of a situation where I think you need to capitalize on it. He wants me to mow it weekly too. So frankly, he really didn't even need it. But yeah, he, uh, he's good about paying. He's already been mowed me right after I finished up. And uh, <clears throat> so that's good. But yeah, y'all, this is a situation where I would recommend if you think you can, go ahead and take it on, even though you may be full, that kind of thing, guys. So, yeah, that's just why I want to bring that up real quick. Hope you're having a good one.
Hey guys, it's getting getting close to 1230 now. I just uh, got done spraying this one. Obviously saw me in the footage there. This is the new yard. Obviously it's a new yard, new customer. I should be doing the treatments and the fertilization side of things. It needs to be fertilized pretty bad. As you see, it's a pretty new house, new side, that kind of thing. You gotta be careful applying chemicals to new grass. Obviously this is just a selective only. And it's very safe. Change ups are very safe. Uh, herbicide to apply when it's hot too. And it's pretty hot. Luckily it hadn't been dry. So yeah, you, you don't want to, you want to be more careful even when it's pretty dry because it can uh, make the chemical stronger and potentially hurt the, the side itself, the grass itself, if you're not careful. But yeah, y'all, a uh, uh, quick point I want to make when it comes to uh, pre-emergent and new side, you want to hold off on applying pre-emergent because it can definitely affect root development. So yeah, I'm definitely not applying any kind of pre-emergent right now. I may later this year. Assuming this side gets uh, rooted in good and that kind of thing, it should do that once I fertilize it. We'll tell the lady probably next week. But anyway, y'all, yeah, I'm getting ready to meet Hunter up and we're gonna knock out some more yards. I've done about 10 jobs so far. Uh, doing well, hope you are too. Hey guys, <clears throat> a little after six now. Uh, bit of an odd day. I mean, I can't say it was it was a bad day or anything. I would say it was solid for sure, but still kind of went kind of funny. And I've got a customer that's texting me about some goofy stuff that doesn't really matter. You know, just being picky. But anyway, uh, yeah, I got some things going on. I need to, frankly, just get inside and get a good shower and get into bed early. If you know what I mean. It's been kind of one of those days. But yeah. I, Overall, I mean, it was good. We ended up uh, combining the mow. I think it's 23 yards. And Hunter met up with me at lunch, and we ended up doing seven together after we met up, which was helpful, obviously. He wasn't there, obviously, until lunch. So, yeah, we knocked out seven. Some of those are pretty good-sized yards, that kind of thing. So that was nice. And one of them, we had to push mow the front yard. So we able to get those seven done after lunch. That was good. Yeah, we mowed 23 in total. Uh, combined me and Justin uh, and both both the trucks combined and I sprayed too and I don't know if y'all saw it in the video that clip of me uh, getting on the ladder and reaching up and cutting that limb I don't know if y'all noticed the uh, ladder kind of move move there at the end or towards the end you know it's obviously it's uh yeah kind of racked my nerves a little bit for sure I mean luckily I'm and I have to brag on myself but I'm still pretty athletic and uh you know that kind of thing and strong, you know, pretty strong in good shape. So yeah, I was able to kind of catch myself before I fell over potentially. Uh, but yeah, y'all, you gotta be careful on the ladders for sure. Uh, I was gonna make a point, Justin ended up having to leave. Uh, he had a cut out early. Uh, he's been dealing with some stomach issues since the weekend and uh, started feeling dehydrated after lunch, that kind of thing. So that's why he was only able to get nine. He's he was able to do nine by himself, that kind of thing. So yeah. Otherwise, we'd have had a better day. But yeah, I was talking to him. I'm just glad he's feeling better. And uh, he says he'll be able to work a little later tomorrow. So yeah, he's getting some rest and drinking up and that kind of thing. It's really not that humid today, to be honest with you. I think it's mainly due to the fact that he's having diarrhea over the last few days, you know, obviously causing him to lose fluids and that kind of thing, guys. But yeah, y'all, uh, overall, I mean, like I said, it's kind of a weird day. But I can't complain a whole lot, guys. So y'all let me know, you know, as far as my intro. Really curious what y'all think about the financial markets and, uh, you know, around obviously the country and the world too, you know, I mean, like I said, if paying attention to what's going on in the world, obviously there's a lot of, a lot of issues, a lot of storm clouds brewing in the financial markets and all that. And yeah, like I said, I'm concerned about money I saved up, especially in the stock market. I'm glad I was, I'm glad I've been conservative here over the last year, like I said, and just you know, put my money in CDs, that kind of thing. Y'all taking advantage of the interest rates. But y'all let me know what you think. I'm just curious. I'm sure Kevin, some of you older guys, uh, probably some money in the stock market, that kind of thing, or anybody. Y'all let me know what you're doing. I'm just curious what you think. I think it's important to discuss 
other topics outside of lawn care that most lawn care people may not, you know, mention in their videos. So yeah, just gets you to thinking about things and what's going on in the world. And obviously we know how important money is in life and uh, finances and all that kind of stuff, guys. So yeah, y'all let me know what you think. Like I said, I'm being very conservative, that kind of thing, guys. And uh, yeah, if, if, if you were to ask me for advice, I would say the same to you. Definitely be conservative, but I'm no financial analyst or advisor or anything like that, but I do follow the markets and I've been investing for a long time. So, I mean, I know more than most, I guess. So yeah. But anyway, y'all, hey, listen, I'm gonna make it short. I hope you're having a great week. Uh, feel free to comment. Comment, let me know any kind of question, concern, or topic you may want to discuss. But I hope you're having a great week, guys. Uh, guys in North Carolina, Kevin, Eddie, Logan, you guys, hope you're staying safe and dry. It looks like you're gonna be getting a lot of rain the next few weeks few days. But anyway, yeah, I hope you're all doing well, guys, and safe and sound. God bless each and every one of you. Talk to you later.